For the last couple of weeks, Panama has been preparing to receive the tens of thousands of pilgrims that will be coming here from all over the world. And you can see all over the city, there are banners, there are billboards, posters, welcoming not just the Holy Father, but also the pilgrims. Now I'm standing at Parque Omar. It's a very popular and large urban park in the middle of Panama City. It's a very popular spot for Panamanians to go on their weekends, their time off, to go for a walk, a jog, cycling, rollerblading. The children can come to the playground. Ground. Um, but this park will be very important for all the activities of World Youth Day during this week. Behind me, you see the confessionals. There are maybe about 100 confessionals here where pilgrims can come and celebrate the Sacrament of Reconciliation in any of the five official languages of World Youth Day. At the park also is what has become known as the Vocations Fair, also a tradition at World Youth Day where different religious congregations, mostly religious congregations and uh, movements and associations have pavilions where they can talk uh, about their congregations, vocations, inviting pilgrims to discern what a religious vocation might look like, but not just religious vocation, but also uh, vocation to the married life or the single life. Another experience that we found at this park is a wonderful new virtual reality experience called Christonautas or Christonauts. We are taking the team for the World Youth Day. So right here is a reflection. We are uh, taking uh, guys. They will see the initiation with virtual reality and also 3D and 4D. We want to, to invite to young guys to say, right now the new language is the technology. We have to use it, you know, like virtual reality, like augmented reality, like uh, 3D, 4D, and then it's a new way to, to, to have reflections. And also singing, as I said, is not just in silence, it's like reggaeton, like say, wow, it's, it's, it's a little different. We want to say, we can do it because now we have in a new, in new time, and then we have to, to engage young guys. This is our call. With technology, conversation, devotions, sacraments, and recreation, this World Youth Day promises to offer pilgrims many opportunities to deepen their spiritual lives.